Hi, so in this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to use Canva just in case you're new to Canva or you're just trying to find your foot around Canva and you want to start creating amazing designs, then this video is for you. Now, if this is something that you're interested in, please come closer and let's dive in. Depending on what you want to use Canva for, anything you can ever think of can be found here. All you have to do is to just search for whatever it is that you want to design and then you find the template and then you can go ahead and edit the template and start using it. Trying to design with Canva is very, very easy. The best thing you need to understand that you need to make a lot of changes and then you need to know and understand your color combinations. But I'm going to show you how it's done, the process and everything. But first thing first, let me show you around. So here you can see custom size. This is where you put in your custom size. Let's say you want to do a design with a particular size in mind. This is where you put it, you put your width and then you put your height. And here is pixel, the PX is for pixel and IN is inches and MM is millimeter and then CM is centimeter, right? So so you put your, it could be anything, you could put your um, width here and then you put your height here. So that is for custom size. And then if you want to design anything, whatever it is that you want to design, all you have to do is to come over here. Let's say you want to design a presentation. All you have to do is come over here and if you have it listed here, you just click on here or you can just type in presentation and it's going to give you presentation whichever one that you want, presentation 16 by nine, presentation, business presentation is education presentations. It's going to give you templates under business presentations. And if you go for education presentations, it's going to give you presentations under education. So if you go for business presentations right now, you can see that it's has given us business presentations. And with this, you can actually write business presentations for people and make a lot of money from it. And that is for presentations. And then if you want to design for a YouTube channel, all you have to do is to also come here and type YouTube maybe it's a YouTube banner or you can you want to do a YouTube channel logo or a YouTube thumbnail anyone that you want to do you can always find it here or if it, if it doesn't pop out here you can just go ahead and write it here so if you do YouTube thumbnail you can see YouTube thumbnail templates here so all you have to do is to just click on youtube thumbnail and it's going to open templates for youtube thumbnails that you can always um, customize to your liking so here are templates and you can work with the templates i've done a tutorial in the past where i actually broke down how you can design with templates and have an amazing youtube thumbnail or design without having to use the exact same template so i recommend that you go watch that video after watching this video of course i'll leave the link in the description so that you can watch it after watching this video is very nice because you're going to learn how you can customize templates and make it look entirely different from whatever you have here using the same template because the same way you're seeing this template right now a lot of people are seeing it millions of canva users are also seeing it so if you use the template just like this without changing things it's going to look the same and people that see it might not take you seriously because they will know that you got it off from canva even without making some changes so i love making changes when it comes to canva so you should see that tutorial it's going to help you a lot in learning how to design for Canva. So this is basically it. You can find any kind of template that you want to go with here and just customize it. Let me quickly show you guys how you can customize it. Click on customize this template. So once you click on customize this template, it's going to open up the template and then you have your opportunity to customize it. And then when you come here, you can see the elements. Elements is where you get like all these things here. All these things are elements. So you can search for anything. You can search for square. You can search for graphics. You can search for any shape. You can search for just anything that you can ever think of. You can search for pictures, you can search for videos, you can search for anything you can ever think of. And that is what you find in your elements. And then uploads is where you get your pictures, your videos and everything uploaded. So if you want to do any design and you want to design it with your pictures, so you just click on upload files and then select the picture that you want to upload. It could be anything and you click on open and you have your files uploaded. So the file is going to upload and you can use the file for your design or anything that you want to use it for. So that is what you use the upload files for. You can upload images, videos and audio. So depending on what your design is, if you're editing a video and you want to use a particular audio, you can always 
upload your audio or you can upload a video if you want to edit your videos or merge or cut out something from a particular video you can always upload your video here or if you want to edit a video entirely for instagram tiktok or youtube you can always do that here let me know in the comment section if you want to see a canva video editing tutorial and i'll make the video specifically for you so here text is where you write your text you know you can select your text you can select anything you can actually do anything you have your text template you have font combinations you have stuff like that so you can just pick out any text whatsoever and make your changes and then if you select any text like this you can always make changes here like select any font that you want you can also go to text styles and select any text style that you want so that's basically it for text and then drawing you can draw on canva now so now you have the opportunity to draw on canva in case you want to draw anything else if you draw you can actually use the draw um, function to draw anything that you want and then for project project is more like a project folder where you have all your files your designs and everything you have done on canva you have it all saved here so you can always access them whenever you want and then apps is where you find all the apps that you use on canva you can see text to image i've done a tutorial for this in the past and you can find it in the description as well and i recommend that you watch that so that you can learn how it works so here is text to image and here is more from canva so all these things are apps that you use within canva okay you just connect them and then you can be able to use them to do your designs and all that so let me test out one app right now so if you click on qr code you can be able to add qr code to your design and it's amazing so if you just click on use you will see the url so you can just put a url like so let's just copy this url here and put it here so you can choose to customize it change the color then generate code It's going to generate a code for this and once anybody scans this code it's going to take them to this template page right to this page basically so that is how the qr code generator works and it's amazing so um that's for qr code and that's for apps you can see other apps here you just let your creativity run wild depending on what you want to use it for but you have an opportunity to use lots and lots of apps i'm going to be reviewing some of these apps here i believe that most people don't know how to use some of these apps so with time on this channel i'm going to review some of these apps to show you how it works and how it can benefit you a great deal and that is more reason why you should subscribe to this channel so that you don't miss amazing tutorials like this so you'll be updated and also know how to use canva and every other means that you can use to make money online with digital skills so here is bulk crates canva bulk crate i've done a couple of tutorials as well based on canva bulk crates and i'm going to be leaving the link as well in the description so that you can learn how canva bulk crates works and then start is when you favorite a particular template or design or anything you can always find it here so let's say you're searching for template and you saw another template that you like but that's not actually what you want to use for that design you can actually start it and whenever you want to use it to just come to start and then you find it here so it's a perfect tool that you can use to highlight a lot of things like as you can see i've started quite a number of things here you can see this is a presentation this is a book cover and this is a logo this is an id card and this is also a logo an id card the back of this id card and then this is a complimentary card and this is a marketing proposal and so on and so forth so once I find something that I like and it's not something that I want to use immediately, I just start it so that I can always come back to it. That is what the start works for. And then logo is where you put on your logo. If you do a lot of designs and you want to put your logo for your brand and stuff, so you upload your logo here. So you just find it easily whenever you want to use it. So just go ahead and upload your logo and you're good to go. So with this design now, all I have to do if I want to make changes to it is delete the picture, delete the frame and basically bring in my own picture like so. So if you bring in a picture and you want to remove the background, all you have to do is to highlight the picture like I've done so and click on edit image and then you will see BG remover. That is actually background remover. You click on background remover and Canva is going to do the magic and remove the background for you automatically. You don't need to do anything by yourself. And yes, you can see it has removed the background. So you can drag it like this to increase the size, trim this down. So we have this right now. So the next thing we are going to do is to remove the right tops like these things here. So you can choose to move this aside and remove the right top or you can just send this one behind. And if you want to send this one behind so that I can be able to 
you know highlight these things here and delete them all you have to do is to come over to position and then you have either your arrange or layers so layers was just a new add-on that canva just added to canva canva team just added to canva right so you can use layers and just move things up and down so i can actually move this way behind like this and have access to other things that i want to delete like this so you can see now this all these are clickable now so i can go ahead and delete them but if you don't want to use this method if you don't want to use this method you can use the arrange and bring it forward or backward that's basically it if you want to stylize the picture i know most of you must have seen that kind of design so let me quickly show you how you can do that you can add shadows now there are different kind of shadows there is drop shadow there's glow shadow so let me quickly show you guys how drop shadow works so i'm going to just duplicate this so that we don't waste much time on this so i'm going to add a drop shadow here so that you see the difference between drop shadows and glow shadows you can see the shadow here and shadow here so to take care of that you have to make it blur so that it doesn't look too shouty so you can see now that it's still visible but is kind of faint which is the look that we want for this and then you can also um, reduce the transparency so that it doesn't look very very black so it looks like faint black which is which is going to sell the effect so now you can see there's this effect now so if i remove it entirely you can see how it looks but if i add the transparency a little bit you can see how it looks it makes the picture really obvious and then this one angle is for the angle of the shadow as you can see as i'm moving it it's actually moving in case you're not seeing it perfectly let me you know increase this so they can see how the angle works so it, it's moving the angle of the shadow okay so be careful when you use this so that it doesn't totally make the picture look very <laughs> unusable or look messy right here you can see the offsets offset is also part of the movement like where you want the um, shadow to appear you know um, how you want it to appear as well so i want it to be like this this is totally fine so all i have to do is to reduce the transparency and increase the blur to blur it a bit so now i have this so if you can add the offset a little bit so now we have something perfect so I can add a little bit of shadow more and we'll have a perfect shadow. It's not really too visible, but it makes the picture pop. So this is how you get this effect. And then the second shadow effect that I want to show you guys is the glow effect. If you want to add a glow effect to your design, you just click on glow effect and click on this settings wheel and you can have your glow effect. So now you can choose white, you can choose any color whatsoever, it doesn't matter. So now that I've picked white, you can see how it appears automatically. So you can decide which one you want to use. If you like this effect, it's totally fine. You can leave it at this. But if you don't like the effect or if you want to increase the size of the effect, you can go ahead and increase the size of the effect just as you want it. And then if the transparency is not okay for you, if you want to increase the transparency and make it look like this, it's totally fine. All depends on what you want to achieve or the look you want to achieve. But best know that if you're working with a white background, putting a white um, shadow effect is not going to work because it will be swallowed, like it won't be visible, right? Because it's white background and then white shadow effect. So if you're using white, you can go ahead and play around with colors. Or even if you're using any color and you want to use a different color of shadow away from white, then you can just use that as long as it matches your design. So here you can see the size that I've decided to choose. And then you can also do something like this here, increase the transparency and reduce the blur. And then you have something like this. There's a lot of people that have their designs like this, which is totally fine. But just know that this is how it's done. There's no magic to it. It's just this settings and you're good to go so that is it for this and we can just take this one off and keep this one here it looks like i'm going to use it so here is your right top you just go ahead and change the right top anyhow you want it and it's totally fine i might probably use this design for the thumbnail of this video just to show you the final output of this design let's assume that you are done with your design but you want to use the same design across other social media platforms all you have to do is to click on resize and choose the platform that you want to resize to. So let's say you have done your YouTube thumbnail and you want to also promote the video on Instagram. And as you know, this YouTube thumbnail size cannot fit into the Instagram picture size. You can manually select the size that you want to resize to or 
you can just scroll down and pick any platform that you want to resize to. You can resize to presentation. You can re resize to Facebook posts. You can resize to Instagram posts. You can resize to any size. Even Instagram story, you can resize to Instagram story. So let's say we want to promote the video on our Instagram story. All I have to do is to click on Instagram story and I'll resize it to Instagram story size. But now you have to be sure to copy and resize because once you just hit resize alone, it's going to resize the design itself and then you won't have any other copy for the thumbnail. So you want to retain the design that you have, original design that you have, and then copy and resize. So the, the one that you copied is going to now be resized to whatever size that you want, but you'll still have your original design for you. So well, let's click on copy and resize. So that way it's going to copy the design and then resize it for you while maintaining the original size and everything. So now this is our design that has been resized to Instagram story size. So all we have to do now is to touch up some things. So we'll bring the picture down and drag it all the way up. Okay, drag it all the way up and have something like this. Oh yeah. So have something like this. And of course we use our position, go to back, right? So we can highlight the text. Okay, and take it all the way to the front and put it like so and then bring this one forward bring the picture back to the front and like this okay to front bring the picture back to front and we have the design like this so you can just put your instagram handle or your youtube handle right here so now you can see our design is looking pretty good all you have to do is to hit on download like this and download your design. Then if you want to still resize this, you can still resize this back to YouTube thumbnail or you can resize it to an Instagram post. So let's do that now. So let's click on resize. We'll click on show more and search for Instagram post. So here it is, Instagram post and click on copy and resize. And then we're going to copy and resize the Instagram post automatically. So here we have the Instagram post. As you can see, it's already looking amazing. So all we have to do right now is to change the picture size or style. Okay. So we'll take this to this end. We'll come back to it later and have something like this. And then we can bring in this right up right here and place it here. So we have the same design for different platforms and the same orientations. So keep the picture like this and it's perfect as it is. And then we can decide to bring the design to this place. Okay, just put the design depending on where you want to have it. But I think it looks far better here. So we now highlight the picture and bring it forward. Okay, we click on position, click on layers, then look for our picture and drag it all the way forward to this place. So now we have the same design, but different orientations. I recommend that you go watch this video next to learn how you can use Canva to create amazing designs that will blow the mind of the people that are going to see it and get you clicks and a lot of likes and of course sales if you're designing for business and if you're designing for clients you're going to learn how to make create amazing designs with canva so go click it now and thank me later see you on the other side came okay,